Hey guys, so um, a few people were asking a few questions about um, this guitar and the other guitar. Um, just to get a little more details about them and hear what they sound like. So I decided to make a video which I'm going to call like $20 guitars, something like that. Um, which for the most part is true. Um, except this guitar was $25 but it came with this stand. This one was free. This one was 20. This one was 20, but someone gave it to me. And this one was 20, but someone gave that to me. So, um, yeah, so 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, this would be equal $100 of, you know, value of if, what you can find on Facebook Marketplace and yard sales. This one's from Facebook Marketplace. This one is too. And this one is also. Uh, this was free from the junkyard. This came, this came in a car at the junkyard. That was a car to be smashed. And the guy, the guy that owns the junkyard actually plays guitar. And he pulled this out of the car, obviously. And he saved it. And he eventually gave it to me. Um, this was from Facebook Marketplace. I bought that myself. And this a friend bought at a yard sale. And this was from Facebook Marketplace. So the first one that I bought myself from uh, Facebook Marketplace is this Daisy Rock. Um, it's a really pretty guitar. It's supposed to be catered towards girls with smaller hands. But um, obviously it's fun for anybody to play. Um, it has a smaller profile neck similar to what you would have on an electric guitar has a nice headstock there you can see um, it's got a nice kind of look to it um, and let's see it's got the uh, composite back that you would have similar to an ovation guitar which personally I don't like ovation guitars because they were kind of too rounded but this one's not that bad um, so this was $25 it came with the stand um, that that's holding my uh scrap metal guitar um came with that stand so i consider this kind of twenty dollars in the stand five but this guitar does although it sounds nice and punchy it does have a uh, problem where i don't know if it'll show up on camera but there's a little bit of a belly bulge right here there's no lifting of the um it might look like it on camera because there's some wax here but there's no lifting of the uh saddle so I might buy a uh, Stumac, um, one of these uh, bridge doctors that you put in underneath. I might, I'm not sure. Um, like I said, this is, was a $20 guitar, so I don't know if I want to spend more money on it. But even if I do, it still would be worth it. Okay, so this next one. This one, I'll tr try to find a picture of it before when I got it. But... Um, if I find the picture, I'll put it up. It came with a, uh, actually I don't have strap buttons on it yet. Sometimes I just put these together and start playing them and stuff like that. But yeah, so this one, um, this came to the junkyard in a car and, uh, somebody, I don't know why they would leave it, but it was in the car. I guess it has no value to someone, but it has a lot of value to me now. I think it sounds great. And, um, the two pro major problems it had, when I got it, were that it didn't. There's a brass block that goes back here. It, that was missing, and um, there's a kind of damage to this fret, but it doesn't really affect playing. Um, where the block was, instead of using a block, I embedded. Um, I took some old strings and I took the um, the little barrel ends off, and I embedded them into the wood. And super glued them and soaked it with super glue so it's it's pretty sturdy now so they're going into a little tiny piece of brass but the things that I did to this some of them are obvious um, I added this map here of my local is it my local area no that's Chesapeake Bay that's down towards Virginia um, so I, I just added that because I liked it um, I added the, I call this the junkyard dog because it came from a junkyard and that's why I added this uh, this is a beware of dog sign and um, 
that kind of the sign dictated where I was going to put the pickup because I didn't really need the beware part, but I wanted to have dog still seen. So that's why I cut the pickup uh, in, in the um, top of the pick guard. And I think this guitar has a really cool mellow sound, which you'll hear, but obviously through my playing, it's not going to be as good if, but, um, and then there's, you know, a couple extra holes here that I, cause I only have a volume knob. So then I, um, I just made this plate to go over top of it. And I don't, I'm not sure why I added that. Um, and then on the neck, I added all car related, um, little, uh, pictures. Now these, these are all, um, from billboards from, um, model train set. They would have been used to make billboards. And this was from an old car magazine or a car book. And I, I really like the way this lady looked with her, uh, you know, handkerchief and her old style glasses. I thought she looked really cool. And she's looking, she's, um, looking for change in her purse. And this is the, uh, toll attendant. He's like, he's angry. And all these people are like waiting behind her. So I thought that was cool. And, um, I took the, the plate and I sanded it and then I soaked it in vinegar and that, that got that color. And then I made this little plate here from another license plate. So that's that one. Now here's my Les Paul Jr. This is a 2004 and it was made in Korea, which so it means it's a pretty good one. Um, I got that from the serial number here. This, I do have a picture of this, I think I'll put that up. But since this was already kind of crusty, I decided to go with that. And, um, further age it, which a lot of people don't like, but I kind of wanted to give it a vintage look. So that's what I did because I can't afford a vintage guitar. Um, so I took some Duplicolor lacquer and sprayed this red here. And then I sprayed a little black on it to uh, kind of blend it in. And then I beat it up. And this, I think I used shoe polish, brown shoe polish to get that kind of worn look. Um, these are gold buttons, uh, I mean, uh, knobs that I got from, uh, I got those in the mail from Danny, his, uh, I'll put a link to his channel, but his name is Danos Dives. That's the channel name. Um, but his name is Danny. And on this guitar, I also did a modification, which was kind of major for me. These Epiphones usually are cut here on the ears, which looks ugly. It looks like the ears are just cut off. So I added just a little piece of wood there and then I painted it black. Um, and then I really rounded the edges of the fretboard. So it has a really good worn feel. This one, a friend got at a yard sale. Um, it was in pretty good shape, although the paint was kind of cloudy. So that's why I decided to do this. Um, I like it, although, you know, not a lot of people do again, like the distressed look, but I like it. Um, I liked the color of the fretboard. It's got a nice amber look to it. Um, I like this little beak there. That looks pretty cool. I sanded the um, back of the neck and I did some distress to it. So the black on this is original paint and the white is what I did with Duplicolor which is like $7 where I live a can. So that's my tribute to Van Halen's black and white striped guitar, but a little more distressed than his actually. Now this last one is um, the same as the uh, Boyer of Dog sign, uh, Junkyard Dog one. But this one someone gave to me because I did, I fixed up another guitar for them and gave me this for parts and it said that you can keep the rest. Um, this one has the brass block that I was talking about and has its regular cover and this cover here. I didn't make anything for that switch yet. Um, this one I originally put a piezo underneath here and it sounded awful. So I added this um, single coil. And I tried to add it in a spot where, again, the tag dictated where I was going to put it. I tried to put it where it was not going to be, you know, that obvious or that stupid looking. 
So I like this one. I think it sounds good too. And these two knobs don't do anything. They're just there. And this one just does the volume. And then this one, I did use a local map. This is uh, Brigantine. So this is near Atlantic City. And this Zebra's, this is something I found in the trash. This is a, this was on a key tag. And that was a very uh, popular local restaurant. It's before my time, but it, it burned down. So it's not there anymore. Okay, so um, I hope you enjoyed watching these and seeing what you can do with $20 guitars. Obviously, you can have a lot of fun and um, a lot of fun and you can uh, build something that, you know, you can keep or you can try to flip and sell, which I've done before. But um, this group here, I don't think I would sell because, you know, I like them. So anyway, thanks for watching and checking this out. If you have any like cheap guitars or cheap guitar tips, put it in the comments or uh, let me know on Instagram.